Hey there, welcome back to my accounting 1120 discussions on plant assets. I have a goal. The goal of this pincast is look at how to dispose of plant assets. We've looked at how to acquire them. We've looked at how to account for them during their life. And now we need to learn how to dump the asset. Our set of facts, let's assume we have a piece of equipment that costs us $15,000 that has accumulated depreciation to date of 12,000. And I'd like to assume we sell it. First of all, the first thing you always do when you sell an asset is to bring a depreciation expense, i.e., another way to say that, accumulated depreciation up to date. So if you're selling it after you made the depreciation expense entry for the year, you're good. If not, you'd need to make that entry. So let's assume you bring the depreciation up to date and that the facts I've given you are up to date when you're selling this asset at this point in time and depreciation has been taken for the year. That's the first thing. The next thing you need to do is to a analyze the transaction. So you know what you're, you can wrap your head around what you're doing. And then the third thing is to make an entry. So in our facts, I've already done number one for you. We've brought depreciation and accumulated depreciation up to date. Let's do number two. Let's analyze this transaction. And from that, We'll make our journal entry. So number one is already taken care of, and we're now down to step two, analyze the transaction. I always like to start with seeing where I am. I have the cost of this asset, and it's 15,000. Accumulated depreciation to date is 12,000. So my book value of this asset is 3,000. What does that mean? means I paid $15,000 for this asset, I have written off $12,000 to date, and I have $3,000 left to write off. In our example number one, let's assume we sell this asset for $4,000. So you have a book value of three, and you sell it for four. Does that seem like a gain or a loss to you? If you have $3,000 tied up in something and you're able to sell it for four, you have a gain of $1,000. Let's make that entry. First of all, you need to get rid of the equipment. So we'll credit $15,000. The second thing you need to do is get rid of the accumulated depreciation. The asset's gone, so you can't really leave that on the books. It would look pretty silly there without an asset tag into it. Book value is just math, so we don't need to do anything with that. If you look at my entry, book value is now sitting on the books. I get cash for 4000 and I have a gain for 1000 Gains are a type of revenue. Revenues have a credit balance. I'll recognize that as such. Let's see if my entry balances. I just used the facts as I presented them. I got rid of the equipment, the accumulated depreciation, picked up the cash, and recorded the gain. And my analysis was good. This is how an entry would look in example one, where you sell it for 4000 in example two, let's sell this piece of equipment for $2,000. I still would analyze the transaction. The cost is still $15,000. My accumulated depreciation is $12,000. I abbreviated a bit more there, leaving my book value of $3,000. So I have a $15,000 asset. I've recovered 12000 of it through depreciation expense. I have 3000 left to recover. I sell it 
for $2,000. If you have $3,000 tied up in something and you sell it for $2,000, is that a gain or loss? And clearly, that's a loss of $1,000. Now that I've analyzed the transaction, let's record it with the appropriate journal entry. I need to get rid of the equipment. And that's $15,000. Notice how my analysis just leads to this. I get rid of the accumulated depreciation for $12,000. That leaves in my journal entry the $3,000 of book value. I get cash of $2,000. And I have a loss. Losses are like expenses. They reduce owner's equity of $1,000. Do the math of my journal entry, and you'll see that it balances. So my analysis led to the right journal entry. Let's do one more example. Example three. And in this example, I sell it for exactly $3,000. My cost is still 15 my accumulated depreciation is still 12. My book value is still 3. I have $3,000 left tied up in this asset. If I sell it for 3000 do I have a gain or a loss? And the answer is I don't have anything. I just don't have an asset anymore. What would that entry look like? Well, I still need to get rid of the equipment for 15000 I still need to get rid of accumulated depreciation for twelve, And I get cash of 3 And there is no gain or no loss. I've just sold the equipment. In this example, we've looked at how to dispose of the planned asset for more than book value for less than book value, and for exactly book value. In all cases, I like to start with an analysis of the facts and wrap my head around what the journal entry is going to be and then make it happen. I recommend that you do the same. So, my last pink cast was a little long and this one's a little short. It all evens out in the wash, yeah? Hey, thanks for joining me on this discussion on plant assets. Talk to you soon.